All right, so let's continue from where we stopped. So question number 11. But please, if today is your first day of seeing my video, please click that red subscribe button. It's free of charge, okay? So that anytime we drop a video, YouTube will notify you that we just dropped a video, okay? Thank you very much as you do that. So question number 11 on Math 111, okay? We still have the question say that minus 4 um, is less than or equal to 3x minus 7x which is less than or equal to 17. Now, in this, okay, sorry, 3 minus 7s. In this case, you can decide to separate it, but if not, uh, you can just solve straight, okay? If you, if you don't want to separate it, you can solve straight, but if you want to separate it, you'll be having that minus 4 is less than or equal to 3 minus 7x, okay? And then 3 minus 7x is less than or equal to what? 17, all right? So, if you now solve, you're going to have that, um, let me say, let me have that uh, minus 4 minus 3 is less than or equal to what? Minus 7x, all right? So both of them will give you minus 7, minus 7 is less than or equal to minus 7x. Now, anytime you want to divide with minus, the sign must change. So I have that what? Minus 7 over minus 7 is greater than or equal to what? Um... Is it equal to is it equal to what minus seven x divided by what minus seven? So this is giving me one is greater than or equal to what x. So it means that x is less than or equal to what one. If you want to write it this way. So now let's come to this side. Now I have that what minus seven x is less than or equal to what um, seventeen minus three. So minus seven x is less than or equal to what fourteen. So what do we have? If you want to divide by minus, don't forget that this one, this man must change. So I have the word minus 7x divided by minus 7 is, is less than or equal to what? 14 divided by what? Minus 7. So x is less than or equal to what? 2 minus 2. Okay? So if you want to now draw this now, if you want to draw it, you have that this is my 0, here is my minus 2, and here is my 1. Okay? So for minus 2, if you shade... The arrow is pointing like this, so you move the same way the arrow is pointing. So for one, you shade again, and the arrow is still pointing like this, so you point the same way. Okay, so that is that for that. So we'll move to the next question, question number 12. And question number 12 said, question number 12 said that what minus 19 is less than 5 minus 4x. Okay, which is less than or equal to what? Minus 3. Let us separate it to have the word minus 19 is less than 5 minus 4x. And the 5 minus 4x is less than or equal to what? Minus 3. Now, what do we have? This one can come here to have that minus 19 minus 5 is less than minus 4x. So, minus 24 is less than what? Minus 4x. So, divide by minus 4. Minus 24 over minus 4 is greater than minus 4x divided by minus 4. I told you that anytime you want to divide with minus, the sign must change. So you have that 24 divided by 4 to give you 6. 24 divided by 4 to give us 6. So I have that what 6 is greater than what x. So therefore, x is what? The arrow is pointing like this. So x is less than what? 6. So since I have that, let me come to this side now. I have that what? Minus 4x is less than or equal to what? Minus 3 minus 5. So, minus 4x is less than or equal to minus 8. So, minus 4x divided by what? Minus 4 is greater than or equal to minus 8 divided by minus 4. So, if you can see, you have the word x is, um, is greater than or equal to what? Uh, 2, right? So, if you want to draw it, you will draw again. Now, here is your 0, here is your 2, and here is your 6. So, at 6 is an open set. Okay, you move the same way the arrow is pointing. Then, but at um, at two, you shade, okay, and move this way. So if you want to draw it very well, so the both of them are coming like this. This one is coming like this, and this one is coming like this. Okay, so that is that. All right, so we move to the next one. That is question number 13. So for question number 13, question number 13 said, um, find, find the value 
of x in 5 raised to power 2x minus 2 is equal to 6 to 5. Okay, this is 5 raised to power 2x minus 2 is equal to now 6 to 5. 5 divide 6, 6 to 5 divided by 5. I have 1, 2, 5. 5 again divide, divided by 5. I have 25. 5 again, 5. 5 again, 1. Okay, so I'm dividing with 5 and they are 4 in number. So 5 raised to power 4 will give me 6 to 5. So 5 will take care of 5, but don't cancel in your notes, please. The calculation is because I'm teaching you. We don't cancel. So 5, take care of 5. We now have that word 2x minus 2 is equal to 4. So therefore, 2x is equal to what? 4 plus 2. So therefore, 2x is equal to 6. So x will now be equal to what? 6 divided by 2, which is what? 3. Alright? So we'll move to question number... Question number 14. Question number 14. Question number 14 says, um, question number 14 says simplify, simplify 3 raised to power minus 2 times 81 raised to power 3 over 4, then divided by 729 raised to power minus 1 over 3. Okay, so this is a very simple something solution. So I have that what? 3 raised to power minus 2 times. Uh, 81 raised to the power 3 over 4, then divided by uh, uh, 729, 729 uh, raised, to power, raised to power minus 1 over 3. Okay? So if you look at this, you are going to have that 3 raised to power minus 2 times, this is 3 raised to power 4, everybody raised to power 3 over 4, divided by, let me check 729, 729, 3 divide, I want to see what happened. 7 to 9 divided by 3. I have 243. 3 again divided by 3. I have 81. 3 again, 9, 27. 3 again, 9. 3 again, 3. 3 again, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have 3 raised to the power 6. Then everybody raised to the power minus 1 over 3. Now something can cancel. This take care of this. This take care of this. I have 2 here. So this is 3 raised to the power minus 2 times 3 raised to the power 3 here, then divided by 3 raised to the power. This time, this will give you minus 2 here. So I'm going to have, take one of the 3, minus 2. Because of times, I'm going to say plus 3. Then because of divide, I'm going to say minus before minus 2. Okay? So I'm left with what? 3 raised to the power. Uh, minus minus is plus. So minus 2 plus 2 is gone. 3 raised to the power 3. And 3 raised to the power 3 will give you 27. So that is that for question number 14. So we move to question number 15. We move to question number 15. Question number 15 said simplify. Simplify 4a b raised to power 3 times 7a squared b raised to power 4. Alright? So coming to this, this is a very simple something solution. I have 4a b raised to power 3 times 7a squared b raised to the power 4. Now, what do you do? 4 times 7 will give you 28. 4 times 5, 24 times 6, 24, 28. So I have 28. Now, a and a, take one of the a, then add the power because I have times. You know that a alone is sent as a raised to the power 1. So I'm going to say that 1 plus 2. Then for the b, it will not be what? That 3 plus 4. So I'm having 27a raised to the power 3, b raised to the power 7. So this is very, very simple. We move to the next question. Question number 16. So question number 16. Question number 16 says, um, if, if 1 over a raised to the power 5 is equal to a raised to the power 2, times a raised to power k find find k okay solution very simple we have that one over a raised to power five is equal to a squared times a k so which is what taking this up means a raised to power minus five is equal to a raised to power two plus k according to indices 
So a will take care of a. So therefore, minus 5 is equal to what? 2 plus k. So therefore, this one coming here, minus 5 minus 2 is equal to k. So minus 7 is equal to k. Therefore, k is equal to minus 7. So this is very, very simple. We move to question number uh, 16. Question number 17, rather. Question number 17. And question number 17 said that we should solve, um, simplify, simplify, simplify 2x raised to the power minus 3, everybody raised to the power what? Minus 2, then divided by x, okay? Solution. This is a very simple question. This is um, 2 raised to, 2 x raised to the power minus 3, everybody raised to the power minus 2 divided by x okay so this is um two uh two raised to power two raised to power minus two then times x raised to power minus three then raised to power minus two again then divided by x raised to power one now this one is simply saying one over two raised to power two but here this is x raised to power this time this is already giving me six now divided by x raised to power one so this is what? 1 over 4 x raised to the power what? 6 minus 1, which will give you 1 over 4 x raised to the power what? 5, which is same thing as x raised to the power 5 over 4. Anyone you like is correct. So we move to the next question. That is question number. There is no 18, 19. Then I have question number 20, so which is where I'm going to stop. Question number 20. There is no 18 and 19. They say solve solve log log x plus 5 minus log x minus 1 is equal to 1 minus log 2 okay so this is very very simple what do we do according to law of log reading so i can say that this is log x plus 5 minus log x minus 1 is equal to what i can say log 10 10 you know when the log and the base are sent in is one then minus log what two okay so you know that if the base is missing it means base 10 so i can use log take one of the base i have that what x plus 5 divided by x minus 1 because of minus you have divide is equal to log uh, 10 divided by 2 because of minus so the log can take care of the log so i'm having that x plus 5 all over x minus 1 is equal to what 10 divided by this okay is 5 10 divided by this is 5 i can say 5 over 1 and cross multiply to have that word this time this 5x minus 5 is equal to what x plus 5 so call it like to have 5x minus x is equal to what 5 plus 5 so therefore 4x is equal to 10 so x is equal to what 10 divided by 4 which is what 5 over 2 so that is that. So thank you very much for watching. In our next video, we'll continue from question number 21. Right?